2, Manchester, UK, are demonstrations allowed in this land? Question says, coming from Manchester, UK, are demonstrations allowed in Islam? Yes and no. There are certain demonstrations which are allowed in Islam. Certain demonstrations which are obligatory in Islam, mandatory to do. And there are other demonstrations which are disliked, and there are other demonstrations which are clear harm. Whether you mean by this word demonstration, what we call a protest or not, it depends. So the basic rule is this. Kitab and Sunnah, Allah says, فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَأْوِيلًا Whatever you differ on, Allah says, whatever you differ over and dispute regarding, then take it back to Allah and His Apostle, if your belief is in Allah in the last day, because that's better. ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَأْوِيلًا And it will give you a more thorough determination. The affairs will be more thorough if you take it back to the Quran and take it back to the Sunnah. So Shaykh Rasulullah Taymiyyah Rahim Allah Ta'ala, he says that this verse in Surah 27 proves is that the Muslims agree unanimously. If they have consensus, then it's the haq. It's the truth. As it's narrated from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, فَمَا رَآهُ الْمُسْلِمُونَ حَسَنًا فَهُوَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ حَسَنًا He says, whatever the Muslims see is a good thing, then it is a good thing as a whole. Huh? And other narrations state, لا تجتمعوا أمتي على ضلالة My nation will never unite upon falsehood. And there are other proofs and evidences for ijma. The true ijma, when there actually is ijma, consensus. So this proves that if the Muslims agree, then it's the truth. But if they don't agree, if they disagree, then they take it back to Quran and Sunnah, and they take it back to the principles that are extracted and derived from Quran and Sunnah. Hmm? So therefore, demonstrations. What do the Quran and Sunnah tell us about demonstrations or about protests? Do we have an ayah or hadith that is sarih dilala right to the point, supporting or against demonstrations? If we do, then there's no opinion. Demonstrations are either obligatory, recommended, or they're haram. Kalas. We hear, we obey. And if we don't have those verses and those hadiths, then there's going to be open for investigation. It's going to be open for reason. It's going to be open for looking into the kitab and the sunnah and the generalities and the principles. One may say demonstrations are means of destruction of property. Clear. Destruction of property is unlawful in Islam. One may say demonstrations or protests is a means of enjoining the good and forbidding the evil. That's obviously from Quran and sunnah. One may say demonstrations are means of men and women free mixing and women being molested and groped and raped when they demonstrate and protest in the street. Then that's going to be haram. One may say demonstrations are a means of people not monopolizing leadership and people not monopolizing power in the name of Islam. Obey the Muslim ruler. Listen to the Muslim ruler because it's in their favor. But when it comes to justice, when it comes to treating people equally when you're supposed to treat them equally, and treat them justly, we're supposed to treat them justly. Loving the Muslims, hating the kuffar, and all those other things, you don't hear anything about them. Then that's clearly a game. So it's going to be based off of how you look into it. If you find the strangest things, Yanni, as we said this before and we'll say again, is that if something is hardcore proven from Quran and Sunnah, then it doesn't matter about the East and the West. But if something is based off of ijtihad, a scholar tries his best to figure out what's correct. And he's basing it off of his land, his country, the social, the cultural, the climate, the norm where he is. Then it isn't a requirement for Muslims who live in other locations. So you find a brother in America, the United States. Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward him for having the courage and the manhood to walk up to you face to face and give you advice. What a lad, alhamd. To walk up to you. Courage and manhood. I'm not here to introduce myself to you, Abu Sayyid. This is me, such and such. Listen, I want to give you advice. I'm not saying I know more than you, but I'm giving you advice and I feel that you made a mistake. That's what the brother said. And he said, with regards to protesting and things like this, I think that you made a mistake. I said, Jazakallah khairan. I don't agree with you. I feel your view is totally erroneous based off of proofs and evidences. And I feel like you're blindly following someone in a different time, a different place, in a different atmosphere. But I thank you for having enough manhood to say it to my face. 
Not like some brothers, they walk up to you, they give you a hug, they make the eye for you, and next one they talk about you. And they say, you didn't give me time, you didn't give me attention. You saw me in my face, you gave me a hug and a kiss. You said, keep up the good work, I'm proud of you, I heard so much good things about you. And you say, you didn't have time to give me advice? Is it me? Am I the crazy one to have to call me? So if you have a view about protesting and demonstrating, and you feel that it's correct, then that's fine. But know for sure there are others who have views about demonstrating and protesting, and they're basing it off of kitab and sunnah, and there's nothing that's clearly cut, then it's going to remain the issue of ijtihad. They say it's permissible to do demonstrations in Egypt, or permissible to do demonstrations in the United States. And they say that it's haram to do demonstrations in Saudi Arabia. A cardinal sin. Is there something concrete from Kitab and Sunnah? Or is it something based off of Ishtihad? Is it purely Ishtihad or are there political motives and social motives and someone saying that demonstrations are totally haram? It's the bottom line. If you choose to take a view of a scholar, a fatwa of a scholar, that's fine. There's no sin upon you for that. But do not force it upon the what? The next individual who says that I don't agree with that fatwa. Nor am I obliged to agree with that fatwa. It's not obligatory to take every single fatwa from every single person. If that was the case, then we'd be no different than the Jews and the Christians. As Allah says, they took their rabbis and their pastors and their monks and their priests out of Baba min duni As lords besides Allah So the point that we're trying to get to is is that any issue in Islam, any issue in Islam, if there's something which is concrete from Kitab and Sunnah, there's nothing to discuss, nothing to argue about. If it's something which is relative and subjective, and which is based off of personal investigation, then it remains as what? As that. And the layman Muslim who's following someone that he trusts and respects, that's what? That's fine. The student of knowledge, the one who studies and reads and researches, he is to follow his what? His own view. Whether Zaid, Bakr, Amr, John, Tom, Dick, and Harry like it or what? Or not. That's Islam. It doesn't get purer than that. Huh? So that's my view on demonstrations and protests. Some of them are clearly haram. Some of them aren't haram. It depends on the time. It depends on the place. It depends on what are you demonstrating for. What are you protesting for? Who are you speaking to? And most importantly, the political atmosphere. The political what? Atmosphere. The United States. A protest in the United States is not like a protest overseas. It's different politics, different political system, different culture, different society. Everybody understand this? And the lost Prophet Allah surely knows best. Last but not least, the ultimate stupidity of many people, they say that you can't have protests and demonstrations. And they say the proof is, is that you're re rebelling against the ruler. What Muslim ruler is there in the United States of America? Or the United Kingdom. Look how the extremism pushes a person's brain all the way into the corner. Demonstrations are haram in Saudi Arabia because one could possibly say, this ruler is a Muslim ruler, you're going against him, you're revolting, which is against the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Tayyip, Munkin. In America, where's the Muslim ruler? Everybody understand this? So we ask Allah Azza wa to allow us to have the ability to use our heads. The reason why Allah gave us these brains is to do what? Use them, huh? And Allah knows best. That's my humble opinion on the issue. If those people who differ or feel differently, or feel that's wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, alhamdulillah. You're entitled to your own view, just like I'm what? Entitled to my own. And Allah knows best.